The world is undergoing a major reboot. I don't care what industry you're in, whether you're in financials, whether you're in government or in education, the way you did things has to change. And we all know in this country, in fact, we can see it right now, that the most in-demand jobs are in the, the STEM subjects. Innovation, technology, expanding opportunity, it's in the STEM subjects. It's about science, it's about technology, it's about all these subjects coming together to create the kind of future and to create the kind of jobs which this country needs. Pranking out people that have the skill sets that we can hire is going to be the difference between us being successful, not only as a company, but also as a nation. There's tremendous foreign competition that wasn't there before. We can't make excuses. There is an urgency now because America is actually falling behind. NJIT, an institution like that, is absolutely essential. I mean, that's where the discovery is going to be made. That's why the professors are going to get together. That's why business is going to combine with industry. That's where a lot of things can happen. It's a significant workforce issue for the state of New Jersey to keep NJIT robust in its academic fields, robust in its graduation rates, robust in the kind of facilities and faculty we need here to produce these quality employees of the state of New Jersey. Energy ecology, sustainability, healthcare. Those issues are going to be with us long into the next millennium. They will require constant innovation, constant research, constant study. And that's a great place for universities to play with business. NJIT has now, for the last three years, put together research expenditures over $100 million. If you look at where that ranks among the polytechnic universities, we're fifth in the nation for our research dollars. If you want to make an investment in this day and age, you want a return on that investment. Uh, and so NJIT is like better than a blue chip stock. Because of the disciplines, because we are the State Science and Technology University, we stand alone. During this most recent economic downturn, we've had some of our largest growth. And that, again, is the partnerships that we continue to seek out and the fact that we can deliver the kind of workforce and the kind of knowledge that is necessary for this economy today. When you've got a great faculty and a great president, Nothing can stop that university from achieving great things. And that is what I hope for the future of NJIT under this president and this faculty.